Okay guys, so we're going to continue with the terrestrial ecosystems. We've done the, we got to, to the types, alright, and I said that we could find them like very cold, okay, in the polar zone, or temperate, okay, or in the tropical zones where it's usually very hot. Let's go with the polar zone, okay. In this place, uh, well, usually it's the North and the South Poles, okay, and we can find in the most um, closest to the to the poles, the polar desert, where uh, it's a desert because it rains very little. And when it rains, it's not rain, it's actually snow, okay? The average annual temperature is always below zero degrees, okay? So it's permanent, permanently uh, frozen, okay? There are usually no producers, no plants, okay? And what we find are usually carnivorous, but very few. Right, a bit further south we find the tundra, okay, where in the winter it's always frozen with a lot of snow, but in the spring and the summer it usually melts and we can find usually grass, okay. Uh, we can find uh, many herbivorous, especially in the summer, okay, because they can come in and eat. And obviously we can find carnivorous as well. Then we've got the tiger. In this case, it's very cold too, but what we find are large pine trees and pine uh, forests. And it happens similar to the uh, tundra. It's frozen in the winter and in the summer it melts. Right, so then in the temperate zones, okay, this, we find them in intermediate latitudes. Okay, we've got uh, mainly three types. Okay, there's more, but mainly three types. We've got the deciduous forests, okay, these are usually forests of very big trees that uh, usually lose the, 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 the leaves in the autumn, okay, and usually it rains a lot and the temperature is mild, okay. Uh, usually it's uh, one of the places where we find more animals and plants, okay. In Spain, we can find deciduous forest, especially on, uh, on the north, okay, here that you see in in blue, okay, all this would be a deciduous forest. And then we've got the Mediterranean forest, okay, here we find them in low uh, latitudes, okay, and usually we, what we have is a very hot and dry summer, and uh, the rainfall period would be in the spring and the autumn. Usually we find uh, oak trees and uh, different types of trees that usually that don't lose the, the, the leaves in the autumn, okay, and here in Spain is, well, the vast majority of the ecosystem, okay, all this in yellow, okay, and in green, even the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, well, this would be more in the mountains, okay, well, especially the yellow and the green, it would be the Mediterranean forest, okay. And then we've got the temperate grasslands, okay, and in this case we've got low rainfall, but uh, so there's not many trees, okay, and what grows a lot is the grass, okay, we've got this in Spain as well, more in the coast, okay. Um, right, we can find as well the hot deserts, well, now I'm going to the tropical zone, okay, this is always closer to the equator, and uh, in the, we've got the hot desert where it's extremely, extremely dry, okay, hardly never rains, and uh, it's usually very, very hot uh, in the day, during the day, and very cold during the uh, night. Um, in Spain, yes, we've got deserts in Spain as well, all this part of Almeria would be, this pink here, is, that would be desert. Then we've got the savanna, okay, the savanna is located mainly in, in Africa, okay, and uh, mostly we've got grasses and some trees that usually are acacias. Usually it's got one uh, rain period where everything goes really green and the rest of the year is usually very dry. Uh, here we find a large uh, variety of avirus, okay, and some carnivorous. And to finish, we've got the tropical forest. Tropical forest, very hot and very, very rainy, very humid. So plants is probably the favorite part of the world for the plants to grow. Most of the um, plants grow here. As you can see, it's so, so uh, humid that in some occasions when it goes, the temperature goes slightly low, the evapotranspiration creates the, the clouds directly between the trees, okay? So those would be the types of terrestrial ecosystem.
Okay guys, so what I've got here is an closed ecosystem, alright? This is uh, just a glass bottle, okay? And in here, let's see what you can see there, are rocks, okay, and the roots of the plants, then it's got some soil, and then it's got some moss, and they had a small tree that's died, okay? So basically this is an ecosystem, a closed ecosystem I created um, in January uh, three years ago. So it's nearly got three years, this ecosystem, and it's not been open since. Okay, I put, closed it, I put some water in, and basically the water doesn't can't come out, all right, so it's enclosed in here, and what comes in and out is the energy, okay, the light of the sun, so the plants can do their, their photosynthesis. At some point, sometimes, you've got even uh, small uh, animals crawling around the, the ecosystem, they're, they're not alive now, okay, it's probably, they've just got the eggs, okay, but, well, this would be a terrestrial closed ecosystem as an example okay if you're very interested in knowing how to do it tell me and one day we can uh, make one together okay see you soon guys